Hi, my name is Toby Bercovici, and I'm the artistic director of Tribe of Fools. We do a variety of kinds of work, uh, but most often I do my own adaptations of classic texts, uh, including plays by Ibsen, Vedekind, and Shakespeare, and I infuse them with dance and full physical expressiveness. Now, the universe is 15 billion years old. Converting back into seconds gives us 10 to the 70th power. If we arrange 100 quintillion letters every second, or even twice that much, we still wouldn't have enough time. Not to mention that our universe will bring the house never have the right amount of letters on the job. Even with the entire alphabet at our disposal, the number would still fall far short of what was needed. In other words, there would never be enough time or letters to make this book. It only took the Earth a billion years to do it, which is nothing short of astonishing. Tribe of Fools has been selected to attend a residency at the beautiful Dragon's Egg Studio in Ledyard, Connecticut in September 2012. Coming with me to the residency will be 11 multi-talented performers. They're actors, singers, composers, multi-instrumentalists and dancers. And we will be exploring kinesthetically, improvisationally and dramaturgically Ibsen's play Ghosts. Let me give you fire! Thank you. And now, goodbye. Good night. Sleep well, Dr. Rank. Thank you for that wish. Wish me the same. You. Uh, all right. Since you ask it, sleep well. And thank you for the fire. Toby is just, she's really good at taking these texts and making them really accessible to modern audiences, which is um, something that I think Ghosts, the story of Ghosts, has a lot of potential to do, is be really effective and um, reach a lot of people with what it has to say. She's really good at like taking the um, skeletal structure of a piece and fleshing it out and making it really accessible to modern audiences mm -hmm. um, by a kind of modernizing language and incorporating music and dance. What's exciting about this project is that all the performers will work on the adaptation from the ground up. So I've had a skeletal vision of what the script will be, uh, but the work that the performers engage in while at the residency, the work with choreography and music and improvisation, creative writing, will heavily influence the direction the script takes. So it will be much more fully collaborative than anything I've ever done. The ghosts of the play are lies, they're the things that aren't said, they are also the swarming particles of Oswald's disease and the illegitimate children of Captain Alving. We know of one in the play, Regina, but there are probably others. So we're going to introduce into this play a chorus of orphans who will represent these ghosts. And there will be something slightly menacing and otherworldly about these orphans. And they won't speak English, they'll speak a Norwegian-inspired gibberish. Now, no one involved in the process speaks any Norwegian, which I think is an asset because we'll just have the sounds and the tapes and we can get really creative with it. Um, and Norwegian, I think, is such a visceral language, so in the body, so it'll be an interesting way to explore other methods of communication. Hi! I'm Diane Conrad, and I'm hoping to be working with Toby Bercovici on Ghosts Revisited. I want to explore the character of Mrs. Alving through the lens of Kali, the bringer of life and destroyer of life. I think this show deserves to be looked at by a younger audience, to be supported by dance and movement and music, and I think it's going to be a great project because Toby is brilliant, if you don't know her. That's simply the truth about her as a director. So give us a little bit of money, or a lot of money, or something in between.